Hello, my name is Aaron Fisher, and I am the Youth Livestock and Equine Specialist in the Department of Animal Science at the University of Tennessee. And my name is Jesse Shanks. I am the Small Ruminant Specialist in the Department of Animal Science at the University of Tennessee. We are presenting a video study series focused on sheep-related topics for Skillicon. This particular episode will focus on sheep breeds. We will talk about several popular sheep in the United States and how they are classified, where they are from, and important qualities that they are known for. Sheep can be classified in a few different ways. They can be classified as wool breeds or hair breeds. The important difference here is that wool breeds can be considered dual purpose in that they produce two consumer products, meat and wool. Because of the relative expense and effort that it takes to shear sheep, some people see hair breeds as a benefit in that they do not have to be shorn, so they can be considered lower maintenance. This is the main way we will classify the sheep breed today. Sheep can also be classified by their primary product. While meat breeds still produce wool, the main product they are known for is meat. Their wool is typically of lower quality. Wool breeds are most known for producing high quality wool. Finally, wool breeds can be classified based on the top and quality of their wool. This could be fine wool, medium wool, and long wool. Fine wool breeds like Merino and Rambouillet are considered to produce the highest quality wool. The first breed is the Border Lester. This is a wool breed from England. They possess long wool, being known as having very high quality wool. They have a distinctive looking white face with erect ears. <clears throat> Next is another distinctive looking sheep with a white face. Cheviot is a wool breed from England and Scotland. They are a small frame sheep that is known as a hearty, low maintenance breed. The Columbia is a white faced wool breed that was developed in the United States by crossbreeding Lincoln and Rambouillet sheep. This was to make a large frame sheep with good quality wool for range conditions. Corridale was developed in New Zealand and Australia by crossing Lincoln and Leicester rams with Merino ewes to develop a dual purpose breed that is large frame and polled with good carcass quality. It also has a white face. The first hair breed that we will discuss is the Dorfer. It is from South Africa and is white with a black head. There is also a white Dorfer. It is known for meat production and has been increasing in popularity in the United States. As we mentioned at the beginning, many see hair breeds as lower maintenance due to not having to shear them annually. Dorset is a white-faced breed from England. It can be polled or horned. The horned versions are called horned Dorset. It is medium framed and is known for out of season breeding, meaning it has a longer breeding season than many other breeds. The Finn sheep is a white-faced breed from Finland. It is known as a very prolific breed with high lambing percentage. Triplets and quadruplets are normal for this breed. Hampshire is a black faced breed from England. It is known as a large frame meat breed with black points and has wool on the cap and below the hock and knee. It is one of the more popular breeds in Tennessee and the United States. The second hair breed is the Katahdin. Katahdin was developed in the United States through crossbreeding with African hair sheep. 
it is known as a low maintenance breed that shows resistance to internal and external parasites. It is also becoming more popular in the United States due to not needing to be sheared. Lincoln is a wool breed from England that is known as the largest breed of sheep. It is a breed that produces quality wool and with long, heavy, curly locks. The Monadale is another white-faced wool breed of sheep that was developed in the United States by crossbreeding Columbia and Cheviot sheep. It is a medium frame sheep with no wool on the cap or legs. It has black hooves and nostrils. Oxford is one of the largest breeds of sheep. It is a black faced wool breed from England. It was developed by crossbreeding Hampshire and Cotswold. It is known to be very prolific with a high lambing rate. It has black points with wool on the face, cap, and legs. The Polypay is a composite wool breed that was developed in the United States from a four breed crossbreeding system that included Fin Sheep, Targi, Dorset, and Rambouillet, hence the name Polly. It is an adaptable breed with a white face. Rambouillet is a wool breed from France that originated from Merino sheep from Spain. It is a large frame sheep known for having very fine wool fibers that create a very high quality fleece. The Romney is another white faced wool breed from England. It was originally selected as a dual purpose sheep with quality wool and good muscling. Shropshire is a black faced wool breed from England. It has a medium frame and is one of the heaviest wool producers. It has black points with wool on the cap and down the legs. The Southdown is a wool breed from England. It is a small framed meat breed that has a white face and is pulled with wool on the legs. They also have characteristic mousy brown points and lower legs. It is another one of the more popular breeds in Tennessee and the United States. Suffolk is a black faced wool breed from England. It is known as a large frame meat breed. It has black points with no wool on the cap or on the leg. The Targi is a wool breed that was developed in the United States from crossbreeding Rambouillet, Lincoln, and Coradel sheep. It was bred for quality wool with good carcass characteristics. It is large frame and has a white face. Tunis is a small framed wool breed that was developed in the U.S. from fat-tailed sheep breeds from Africa and the Middle East. It is known as being disease resistant with red points and no wool on the cap or on the legs. That wraps up our discussion of sheep breeds. Please recognize that there are many more breeds that we did not discuss today. For more information and background on all sheep breeds, the Oklahoma State University Animal Science Department maintains the most comprehensive breed site for sheep as well as other species. You can also check out the individual breed association websites for more pictures and information. We wish you the best of luck as you progress through your sheep project. Please let us know if we can ever be of assistance. Thank you and have a great day.